let's talk about the wage gap. Now I know there are a lot of people who cover this topic already and they do so very brilliantly. So with that in consideration, I'm not going to get into extremely deep detail here today. So let's start with a question. What is wage gap? It's very simple really. Wage gap is the idea that if you are born without a penis or with different skin color than white, that you make less money on average than someone who does fall into that criteria. The origin of this idea is one very simple statistic that actually really doesn't even back that point up. The statistic is men collectively as a whole in the United States make more money than women collectively as a whole in the United States. There are variations of this statistic, like whites make more than blacks, for example, and whites make more than almost any other minority, other than Asians. Asian privilege, am I right? No? No? <clears throat> Moving on. So as you probably already know, many terms have been coined based on these statistics, like white privilege. Essentially the idea that if you are white, you get everything handed to you. You have no struggle, you don't understand anyone who does have struggle, etc, etc. But here's the blatant problem with all of these statistics, every single one of them. Are you ready? Good, because I am. Statistically speaking, do you know what happens when you compare a male, age 30 or less, never married, no kids, to a female of the same criteria? The woman makes more, actually. Not a tremendous amount more, but more nonetheless. Alright, so what about the black and white issue? When you compare a black male in his field or industry for five plus years, and who is also college educated, to a white male of the exact same criteria, well, you probably guessed it. The black man makes more. And when you compare Asians to whites, uh, well, of course, Asians just do way better at everything. Uh, they get better jobs, they have less violent crime rates, uh, they're less likely to be stabbed in an alley, for example, um, they go to better schools, etc, etc. Asian privilege, am I right? Alright. Anyway, so what does all of this mean, then? Well, it means, basically, when you compare apples to apples, there's really no one who's picked on in this country. However, when you have an agenda and you compare apples to oranges, for example, uh, you get incredibly skewed statistics that can lead to phrases like white privilege. See, that's where all of this comes from. All it takes is a little tiny bit of research, just using Google, for example, a little bit of fact checking and you find out that things aren't really the way that they seem. The person on TV isn't quite telling the full truth, they're telling a convenient truth, which happens to be an untruth. The inconvenient truth is that no one is really picked on here. No one. It doesn't matter what set of genitalia you have. It doesn't matter what skin color you have. It doesn't matter what religion you are. None of that really matters. If anything, there is evidence against that. There is evidence supporting my statements and my claims. But there is no evidence to support that there are any minorities out there suffering in the United States simply because white people want them to. None. There is no evidence of that whatsoever. And the evidence is all over the place. It's, it's staggering. It's hard to miss, really. Just watch TV, watch the news, watch movies, listen to music. Anything in our pop culture today, and that theory will be debunked within about five minutes. So you mean to tell me that, that blacks are oppressed by whites? Well, can you explain the fact that the Forbes Top 10 Most Powerful Celebrities list contains both Jay-Z and Beyonce? So women are oppressed then. Okay, I got you. So let me ask you this then. Can you tell me why that exact same list, out of 10, contains five women, number one of which is a female? Can you explain that one for me? Sure, that's a list of celebrities, right? That's, that's one example out of many possible. Did you know that the modeling industry, on average, pays women about 100 times more than men? And all of the top 20 models in the world are women? You probably didn't know that, did you? Subconsciously, you may have. You don't see a lot of male models out there, but you see a lot of women. Now, in stark contrast, 
Of course, construction, for example, favors men. It all boils down to the fact that no one is picked on. No one is being oppressed. Here's something to consider. The people that you see on TV pushing these issues, like the race issue, the gender issue, alleged oppression and inequality, how did they get famous? Well, the main frontrunners of all of these movements, for example, that's how they got famous, by being the main frontrunners of these movements, by getting in front of the world and saying, I'm oppressed, we're oppressed, they're oppressed, etc. Where would they be if tomorrow all of these issues ceased to exist according to the mainstream media? They'd be looking for a job. That's where they would be. Doesn't that scare you a little bit? That people who only speak out on these alleged issues, who collect paychecks for speaking about these things, they're the ones that are telling us there's a problem? If we didn't have these alleged issues, it would not be in their best interest to inform us at all. In fact, it would be in their best interest to create more issues or at the very least, perpetuate old issues. Again, doesn't that scare you? Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to lead you down a rabbit hole or get you to believe that uh, all of the people involved in any sort of racial issues or gender issues, etc., are bad people that are part of some huge conspiracy. That is not what I'm trying to say. This is simply an exercise in free thought. So, think about it for a minute. If the people who are perpetuating issues today, and that is where they collect a paycheck, if they're perpetuating issues today and those issues cease to exist tomorrow, where do the people that were once perpetuating them go? With them? They disappear. All right, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment, or all of the above. If you did not like it, uh, let me know why. Feel free to uh, respond with the comments, uh, dislike the video, etc. Uh, all I ask is that you keep it pretty civil. I'm not going to be offended. In fact, it's incredibly hard to offend me. However, uh, it's just super uninteresting and boring to look at a comment section that is a flame war. Uh, it's not conducive. No one is going to see anything your way. You could have the absolute best point in the world and the worst means of conveyance and no one will listen to you at all. That's the way it works. So let's keep it pretty civil. Let's keep it. Let's make this a, a good stimulating intelligent debate instead of a flame war. That's all I ask.